ahead and uh, get some blue on the brush and I'm just using this old dirty fan brush right here to get you started with it but I'm gonna paint just a an old dark sky just a nice background Something like that. We just need a pretty color background, so we'll use blue this time. Now, we can take a little bit of this white and make kind of a light source or a bright spot in the sky. Just lighten it up a little bit, help things show up. I'm going to lay that brush down. Now I'm going to pick up the one inch brush and uh, start painting with it. So what I want to do is go into the uh, tap straight down and go into the ivory black and some of the Van Dyke brown and let's add a little bit of titanium white to that so it lightens it up. Remember things in the background. Now I'm tapping straight down. That's what you may be able to hear on the brush tap in here. So the brush looks like this. It's got a, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It's like that right there. It's flared out. So I'm going to go into the picture and tap in the same thing. See how that looks like it's far off? So we're going to uh, go right down through here. larger, gets smaller, it looks like it's far away. But it also looks like it's far away because this is going to be a lighter value than what I'm uh, using for uh, the others. So that's one bush. All we got to do is add a little darker to it. These are little distant trees. We can add some right in front of it by just simply darkening the color a little bit. that row goes right in front of it. And all you have to do to get your uh, tree trunks and stuff is just scratch in a few little twigs and things like that. And uh, it'll give you a instant little tree trunks. See that? So you can do that kind of thing just very quickly. Uh, and it's effective. So let's go ahead and do a bigger tree. Okay, right in here. Let's see here. We'll load it from the side. I'll tap from the side here. All right. Just make a bigger one. I'm just going to tap uh, some shape in right here. But I'm just going, see I'm kind of twisting the brush. Now this color is darker, so... appear like it's uh, closer. We'll put a little bit of ground right here so it looks like that that's sitting on something. And I'm going to do a little tricky thing right there. Let's make it a little the top of it kind of flare out a little bit. Right. That's one tree there. Now you can do this, you can put like different kinds of tree trunks, you can scratch through like this. Just kind of make some tree trunks that way. And it's very effective like that, and you got instant trees. But stay in the dark area and toward the center of the tree. Now if you want to create some branches, you can, like maybe they're going out this way, but we're going to cover up some of these, so let's not get too carried away with it. Okay. Just tap some ground right through here. All right. Another thing I want to show you, we'll put some highlights on this, but let's go ahead and 
I'm going to scratch through here and then I'm going to uh, just make a like a little bush tree like this. tap straight down well let's see we'll pull it through the paint creating a rounded edge on the on the brush and the rounded edge looks like that right there see that it's this end right here it's got a rounded edge on it where you put some more paint into it now we can take that rounded edge and go right here and just touch and add some uh, limbs to that so this is another way to build your trees or bushes whichever way you want to call them but don't kill all of your uh, things you got going on right in there see all that still got all your little trees and st all your little uh, bushes and stuff going on and it looks like it's kind of missing some uh, missing some limbs you could go through there and put that uh on there a different way you could put the background in so see how i've got all the little uh tree tr uh, trunks right in there that way but let's say we wanted to do it a little different so we could just take and block all this in I'm just pushing up see how it creates like a little lacy silhouette right there And we can go back in and cut our uh, tree trunks back in this way. So there's different ways that you can do this. You just have to think out of the box sometimes. See, I've got my little tree trunk right there. And if you want to hide some of it, just simply tap it. Like this right here. See that? It's just that simple to do that. Put your highlights on the same way. I'm going to grab some of this red. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of white. And let's put some highlights on this. I'm just tapping them in. Don't destroy all your dark areas. these in there just by tapping the paint's a little thinner if you have problems with the paint sticking to it just act just thin it down some now then let's get a little bit more white and we're going to uh, highlight these the, the same way as we build them so these are soft highlights, so you can do whatever color you want to do with these highlights. You can use bright colors or whatever you want. I'm just using soft today. So notice how all it's still got a lot of dark areas going on inside that, so it works out nice that way. But that's kind of a way that you can do uh, different kinds of trees that way. You can build them with a knife. Like I'll take this right here and uh, let's say that there's a tree coming up through here like this. See that? And I'll take this side and do it that way. Wipe my knife off. Grab some of that light gray mixture I had from the previous one. And you got uh, some highlights that way. Grab the blue. And just kind of give it a this way and create like a little birch tree effect. So you got that. Now, let me lay that down and get my paint thinner and some uh, I'm going to go into some of this light here color and see what kind of little branches I can create so. just 
be creative. Kind of teaches you how to be, so that's one way about that. Now you, one thing about birch trees is sometimes they grow together, so you can create another one down here. Let this one kind of grow up with you. Bring it over. That easy, we have another little tree growing. Would you just give it a little bit of a oop, just that way, kind of oop, sweeping, and it'll give you that effect of the round, like the tree's actually round. Mix up some blue here, blue and white. There we have two of those. Let's put some land underneath. Just like so. And you can put uh, highlights on that tree. Just put use a darker mixture than what's in the background to make some of the uh, foliage color. We'll scatter it out this time so that it's uh, looks like that it's lost some leaves. Some of this red right here. Maybe it's fall time. I'm just mixing in white and red and I'm just using that old same dirty brush so you can do it different ways. But I'm showing you can do it with a uh, same old brush. A lot of people want you to clean them and stuff, but it's got a lot of nice colors into the into the mix, so you can use it that way. Let's go ahead and put some highlights right here. Let's finish this out. Nice lavender color for the grass. And this is uh, got some soft color on it. But notice it's got that blue under it, so it's not like this white over here. So it does have some shadow color under it to, to give it some depth. And we'll just tap this on out right here. Got our birch trees, but I put this around the foot of the tree. It looks like it's actually growing into that. So it, it gives it a nice... Uh, a nice depth of fill stuff. So we started off with the background trees back in here, and then we put this tree in, and we put this this bush tree in, and we put the birch tree in. So that gives you some more trees to work with, and uh, give you some new ideas. Okay.